welcome to another Paperweight Investigate. Today we're talking about the difference between Murano Millefiori paperweights and Chinese Millefiori paperweights and looking at some of the differences and some of the ways that we can identify them. Now I'm not an expert but I have kind of got a little bit better at identifying and I've consulted some information on this and I'm going to give you some info today. Hopefully you'll find it really useful and you'll enjoy looking at these lovely paperweights. So here we are. So can you tell which ones of these are Chinese and which ones of these come from Italy? If not, don't worry, we're going to look into it. Chinese Millefiori paperweights were being made from the early 20th century and they deliberately uh, made to copy some of the other designs. So it's uh, not uncommon for people to find it difficult to identify them. So first of all, obviously, if you've got a sticker uh, that says made in China, you pretty much know, don't you? But sometimes stickers will say Murano even if the paperweight is Chinese. So you can't always rely on the sticker. And sometimes the sticker is from a wholesaler or an importer. Okay. And also you can't rely on size. I did have someone tell me that if it's really big, it's Chinese. And if it's small, it's, uh, it's a Murano. But that's not true. Let's look at this one, for example. This very large one is a Murano paperweight by Fratelli Tozo and this fairly large paperweight next to it is a Chinese one and we can look at the differences uh, in identification so that it helps. Now the obvious one that a lot of people use is the base so if you look at the base of a Chinese paperweight it's usually rough, opaque, uh, not very circular with like these kind of edges that are not very well done really. That's frequently what you'll see. And if you compare that to this uh, Murano one, it's got a very defined polished base. That one's not completely flat, often they're very completely flat. Um, and there's other features to that paperweight that I'll talk about in a moment. But don't forget that some Chinese paperweights, more modern ones, do have a polished base. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a photograph of a paperweight that I used to have. I don't have it now, I'm afraid, but I'll show you it. And uh, as you can see, this one, it looks quite complex um, and it has a polished base. And you would imagine that that one is a Murano paperweight, but in fact, it is not. It is a Chinese paperweight. So just so that you can see that even um, they're becoming more sophisticated, but there are other ways we can identify them. A really great way of identifying them is the canes. So let's look at the canes. These canes are not very well defined. They are in primary colours usually. So the Chinese paperweights use uh, red, yellow, blue, sometimes green, but they're usually the bold primary colours. And the paperweight itself uh, will, you know, sometimes show imperfections and the canes look quite big and uh, cumbersome sometimes. And again, if you look at this one, it's got this really rough base and imperfections like that in it, which show us that that paperweight is Chinese. We'll compare that one to a uh, Murano, which is a really, really good example here of a Murano paperweight, because as you can see, the canes are very, very delicate, very well defined, and they're not all in primary colours. They're actually in lots of different colours. You've got your pale green there, you've got your orange, You've got other colours that are uh, really lovely. It's on a, this green ground. And each one of those canes has had to be made on its own. So if you look at that, you, you can see the detail and the amount of work that's gone into it in comparison to the paperweight we just looked at. 
and it has a circular polished base which is what we're looking for in a Murano paperweight. Now uh, some Murano are signed. This one's signed um, Murano Nasson. But the interesting thing about some Murano paperweights is that um, the factories actually buy the canes. So this one looks as though they've bought the canes. Um, these ones look like canes from uh, ALT factory of Murano. If you have a look at that and they're similar to this one which I love that one it's a beautiful paperweight and again you can see the detail and the polished base of it in comparison to the Chinese ones so let's look at the little ones there on the left is the Chinese paperweight and on the right is the Murano paperweight Again, the Chinese one's got the primary colours and kind of fuzzy canes. I don't know how to explain it any other way, but you kind of get used to seeing them and looking at them. They're um, not very well defined, although these canes are small and there seems to be a lot of them. And if you look on the base again, it's a rough base for this Chinese one. And compare that to the very pretty, lovely Murano, which has got the pale green, which I really think is pretty. And this paperweight, again, is is much uh, where better. You can just tell they're better made, really. Um, I think this one's got a signature on it, actually, just to show you, because you may just like looking at paperweights anyway, like I do. This is the place on Paperweight Investigate to see lots of different paperweights and compare them and learn about them. And if you look at the detail of the uh, this paperweight, it's been done really well. It's a beautiful colour. And on the base, we can see that it's actually etched with ALT Murano. which is always great if you find a Murano that's actually um, etched or signed. And this one, I don't think we've looked at. I've been told by the experts that this one's by Seguzo. Very large. You do see some lines through the glass sometimes. I mean, not all of the Murano paperweights look great, as in uh, excellently made. You know, like look at the canes from the side there. Looks like there are imperfections. Uh, but still, uh, yeah, Seguzo. I've put a little label on the bottom of that one just so that I could remember what uh, people said about it. So I can link you to uh, maybe an article about how to identify them. One other thing, if the paperweight has got aventurine in, which is uh, called gold, what's it called? Goldstone, goldstone. Then it's likely to be Murano as well, like this one, which I believe is Fratelli Tozo. I think Fratelli Tozo uses Aventurine. Um, and so do, uh, I think, Ferro and Lazzarini. But uh, I hope this has been useful. Oh, just before I finish, <clears throat> these little animals, these are produced in China. Often they're sold as Murano, but um, they're not, basically. <laughs> um, unless you found an animal that had canes, which were much more similar to these. Uh, and then yes, potentially, but these little frogs, I think they're uh, Chinese. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this edition of Paperweight Investigate. Um, please stay tuned. There's going to be lots more looking at other paperweights, uh, not ones that belong to me even, ones that belong to other people. Maybe uh, I've got a friend who has a very large Caithness collection. We'll be having a look at those as well at some point. So please subscribe and please share. Take care. Have a brilliant day collecting your paperweights.
Bye.